Okay, the next few exercises are designed to work on that mind-body connection that I just mentioned. So you can send the right signal from the brain to the hand and the hand executes it. These should help you vibrate fully and seamlessly without a lot of effort and what's very important, without getting tight or tired in the hand. This one is called Four Fingers, One Vib. The idea of this is twofold. Number one, um, you're shifting, which is always a great thing when you're working on vibrato. And number two, you're starting to learn to control the speed and the amplitude, the width of your vibrato, um, despite the fact that you're using different fingers. Because because your fingers all have different lengths, they naturally have different speeds. So if you want to counteract that and you want to make them more seamless, this is a good one. You take a pitch. I'm going to pick D in third position just because it's simple. And you're going to go through all the fingers. less about intonation, although it's nice if we can play in tune, and it's more about training the ear to get that same kind of sound. So what you don't want, you don't want a situation where one is really wide, right, and the next one is really tight. You're looking, whatever you're looking for, if you're looking for slower or wider, faster, you're looking for that uniformity and to train the fingers to be able to do that. It's a great warm-up exercise, by the way.